Hey everyone, how are things? My name is Vinicius Deschamps and in today's video I'm going to show how to find and delete unattached disks using PowerShell. I have two virtual machines, VM3 and VM4, each of them created with managed and unmanaged disks. As soon as I delete the VMs, the disks will remain intact and incurring costs to your Azure subscription. And in order to prevent that, you must find the disks and delete. Microsoft says the disk, the, the disk deletion does not happen while removing the VM to avoid data loss if the VM is deleted accidentally, just in case, right? So what I'm going to uh, do here, I'm going to delete the VMs right now. Yes. And as soon as, as the VMs are deleted, I will back to you. I had two VMs that I deleted, uh, and now I'm going to find um, the disks through PowerShell because they are now unattached and uh, they don't belong anywhere, right? So Microsoft provides a PowerShell script for managed and unmanaged disks, and I'm going to use them as an example here for, for our video. So uh, the PowerShell script for managed disks, it's going to find all managed disks in the subscription uh, and then uh, show you. And uh, if this parameter is set to zero, it's just going to show you the disks that are present, uh, but it won't uh, delete anything. But just in case you change to one, then you are going to delete them. So that's also true for unmanaged disks. This is the script. Um, and uh, here the parameter is not 0, 1, but false or true. But we will cover that at the right moment. So the thing here is uh, we are going first to find and then identify and delete right after. And uh, just in case you are trying to copy the, the PowerShell script, Heads up, the PowerShell script is available in my blog, so please access it and uh, you will be able to find this script. Okay, so uh, let me run the manage, manage disk script first. Manage disks is set to zero. Okay, so there you go. So it found just a, a, a single managed disk in my subscription. So it's not attached to any VM, and it's VM3, disk one, and a bunch of numbers. So this is the, the, the first disk. So let's run the unmanaged disks. Okay, there you go. Another uh, single disk, because as I said prior, um, the, the, the VMs that I have were only two, uh, VM3 and VM4 and they were deleted, but the disks remain intact, right? So the VM3 had the managed disk and the VM4, the unmanaged disk. So do recall that I, I mentioned about the zero and the false and true value here. So if I go here at the portal, the disks are still here, so I didn't do anything to them. They are still here. So let's delete them. So let's change the manage disks, delete and attach a disks value to one and execute the script. And the message it already change it. So deleting unattached managed disks with ID and then it replicates the first ID we found, right? And the disk is now deleted. So let's back to the unmanaged disks and set the parameter delete unattached VHDs to true and run it again. Unmanaged disks And it's going to the process all over again. It will find the disks and then delete the disks. There you go. So deleting an attached VAD with URI, the same as it was found 
here and then confirming the deletion and that's it i hope you like it and i see you on my next video